it's hard to tell, but I feel like these these nodes they're like I feel like it's a little like uh sack that they're about to like start cutting out. Testicles. Instead of like the pistols. They're testicles. They're o ovaries. They're not ovaries. They're penises. <laughs> <laughs> They're little penises sticking out. I've been studying horticulture. Yeah. Have you? Yeah, yeah. There's so like a bunch of little you're not gonna on this stump me with any like technical terms this time. <laughs> I know my stuff. Okay. Because I know it all. <laughs> it looks so juicy though. This plant is like. Probably the most healthy of all the plants. Like it's like the most robust. Yeah, it does look so pretty. Shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could you could sell it to it's somebody like, for that's like love just likes plants. What's that? I said you could sell it to somebody who like just likes plants. You know. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Look up <laughs> look up hashtag uh, urban jungle, and then. What's that? It's just like. People who live in cities and are crazy about having houseplants. Huh. And I'm sure there's a bunch in New York you could just hit them up and be like, Hey, can I'll give you this plant or uh, I'm, se I'm selling this plant for so many dollars. Hundreds, so many dollars. Of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um... Dude, I haven't smoked in like three days. How do you feel? Um, ants, antsy sometimes, Fancy, like a little yeah, lethargic yeah. other times. Um, yeah. It, it's interesting how it actually makes, it made me like more tired in the past couple of days than like less tired. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember last time it was just like this awful, like, <laughs> last time I tried to quit. For some reason this time yeah. wasn't as hard, maybe because I tapered off more um, mm. instead of cold turkey, but right. it, uh, God, I like couldn't sleep. So I was just like always tired and never sure. just like felt shitty all day. Yeah. You know? Yeah, dude, it's, um, it, it's definitely like, I don't know. It's it's weird. Like in some ways, like I feel like that. Like the first night that I quit, my yeah. dreams were like insanely vivid. Like insanely vivid. I was like, holy shit! I just like <laughs> woke up from another like reality or something in yeah. the dream. Wow. Um, which was awesome. Like, which was definitely like inspiring me to like not want to smoke. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm also trying to, I'm trying to lose weight too. So yeah. I think that's probably why I'm a little bit more tired. Uh, and I've been like working out and shit more, but. Yeah. Yeah, man, it, it does, it feels like an accomplishment, if nothing else, but just the fact that like, I can do it. Like I knew I could, and and I know I, I can quit. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. not like one of those things where it's like, oh shit. Like, where is it? Like, with the smoking, I feel like when I would quit, there was this, like, kind of like this absence in my lungs, almost, which is huh. sounds awful. It, yeah. like, makes you, like, oh, shit. No, yeah, it's, like, cause Interesting. It's killing you. Yeah. But, yeah, there was, like, more of, like, almost, like, that addiction was, it was, like, almost physically yeah. inside of me, you know? Whereas this is more, like, Ooh, I, sh I could smoke. Like, let me roll up. And I'm like, oh, and it's more like a mental thing where I'm like fighting with myself. Like, eh, I'm good. I can, I can not do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely a little easier, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to quit. Um, what have you been up to, man? You love painting a lot? Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just painting a lot. Haven't really been working too much no. lately yeah um i freelanced for overall like on monday and uh nice. but yeah so i've just been making a lot of art 
So we're trying to make plans oh, yeah. to, uh, I don't know. I guess, yeah, just take, taking the next steps forward in my art career. Now that, now that I have nice. plenty of time to dream it up and do it. And yeah, it's weird. There's like all this uncertainty about the future and anxiety, yeah. but also at the same time, I feel more, I feel better than I have in years. Just like. In years? Yeah. Just like. That's awesome well rested making a lot of art like i feel like i'm progressing mm. spiritually like i don't know it just feels more real somehow and mm. whereas before it's just like okay work 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 crash 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 work 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 crash 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 work 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 crash work crash mm -hmm. work crash you know yeah yeah totally man no, I, I definitely hear that. I mean, I don't know if I told you. I don't think I've talked to you in a little bit, but I uh, did. I tell you I was out of work for two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we did talk. I knew that. Sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We didn't go into detail about how that was going, but you did tell. You yeah. Did. It, it's good. I mean, um, it, it was it was like a nice little break, to be honest. Like, I have to say, I was, I, I, I mean, I was uh, obviously not really doing much. I just was kind of chilling, working out. But, like, it, it really gave me a chance to kind of, like, focus on or kind of ask myself the questions, you know, like, what, what am I doing? Like, yeah, yeah. How can I? How can I? You God, know, it's so vital to, take, to do, do that. Shit. Yeah, That's exactly. Um and and i just i just i don't know man like i feel a lot i feel like more clear i think the clarity will come in a in its in its time like in a few weeks or whatever when it's like kind of all out of my system or whatever but uh no it'll, it'll come and, it'll like come and go in waves of it you know yeah like you'll have moments of clarity before it won't take a full two weeks Right. Yeah. Well, that. Yeah. I, I guess. I guess. Um. What I'm saying is that, like, for it to like completely, like, kind of. Yeah. 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 Get out. Gotcha. But like, I do. Gotcha. I do feel clarity. Um. Already. But yeah. It was. It was really. It was really good to like have off. Also, it made me realize, like, oh my god, I hate this fucking work that I'm doing right <laughs> now. Um, yeah. Yeah. But again. The uncertainty, the uncertainty. But then really at the same, like, keep me around. Yeah, and but also the uncertainty like makes me wanna, like I feel like okay, yeah, I'm gonna milk everything I can from mural painting, and also I'm not gonna count on it like even being here in a few months, you know. Right, right. There's yeah. thirty million Maybe. people unemployed in the United States. Thirty. 30 million. Good God, man. Good God. That's, how, that's like bigger than the, the entire city of New York. 30 million living off of welfare. The government. Yeah. I don't know if all those are actually... I think that's the total estimate of actual unemployed and not necessarily everybody that's collecting unemployment checks. Mm. Gotcha. That makes sense. That's interesting. I mean, that's it's it's crazy, actually. I mean, it's it's really big, big number. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. It's yeah. Huge. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking people. Yeah, it definitely does like make you think like nobody's really talking. Well, people are kind of talking about it, like economists and stuff, but like. Nobody's really talking about like the looming uh, kind of just like you know. Well, uh, money keeps getting inflated and inflated. Yeah. And you know, I'm, I'm like, starting to be. I never like, thought about it before. I, I mean, it already has, but like, I think it's going to get worse before it gets better as far as the economy. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I, that doesn't mean necessarily mean that things will be terrible for us. No. Like we might all be no. ha happier for it. You know? Yeah. Um, shoot, what was I going to say? I had another thought. <laughs> I forget. Um, well, well, I guess we're talking about the uncertainty of, like, kind of what the future looks like in a couple of months like yeah yeah with all this unemployment and all that yeah yeah it's like, so i'm just yeah i don't know i don't know if if mural painting is going to be a thing yeah a few months from now but at the same time it's like okay well what else am i going to do besides milk milk everything right. i can from it and like i don't know yeah just kind of taking it one day at a time like okay i'll see it coming i'll have pl plenty of time to prepare like like if we get evicted we get evicted like we have plenty mm -hmm. of people we can live with in virginia right and yeah definitely how is sarah doing she's doing good she's staying in high spirits like she's got her job and, oh, okay. it, and it seems pretty stable i don't know um she feels pretty stable in it like i guess <laughs> that's good yeah i mean all their clients are like big corporations gotcha and uh that, that uh that's not going away i mean yeah. a lot of those um what like they just yeah, I guess it was last week, like Facebook, or no, it was, I think it was this week. Facebook, Apple, I don't know if you heard about this, like all went on trial. Oh, no, for what? Um, essentially, just kind of, well, it was like Facebook, four of the biggest uh, tech companies uh, Google, Apple, Facebook, and uh, what was the fourth one? Um, I forget. But, anyways, like it was like the four biggest. Uh, tech companies essentially like oh it was Amazon so yeah, it was yeah. like pretty much they've, they've gone to a point where like uh, they've run almost to a point where it's like a monopolies on the system and it was sort of just like the government being like we need to have some checks and balances like any other industry because uh, yeah. we've kind of unregulated you all for so long yeah um and it was just them, like the actual like CEOs, I guess, all showed up and like sort of defended themselves and whatever. Yeah. And uh, they do have so much power. Amazon, dude, it's like bonkies <laughs> how much, how much money, like, or how how well they've been doing even during the pandemic. Yeah, even better and better. Jeff Bezos just broke the record for most money made in a day. Shit. <laughs> What is it, like, billions? I, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I've, I've heard something like that. Did he make I, like, I, I don't know the exact number. A billion a day. Yeah, they were saying, like, with the money he made in that one day, he could spend a million dollars every day for the next 35 years. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> I mean, That's I don't know. That's gross. It wouldn't be gross if if uh we, if we could all, we were all doing that you know <laughs> yeah if we were the top yeah i know well, no i thought it was like, like yeah, common it's a fucking value of money at that point yeah it's yeah a it's a whole nother yeah. life yeah it's interesting for sure definitely um do you have hbo uh I think so, yeah. Nice. Have you seen Motherless Brooklyn? Shit, that's the the uh, Edward Norton one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a good one. I, I've, I actually haven't watched the whole thing, but I started it, like, um, last night, and it was just like, it's like, man, this is a really good movie. I mean, it no, didn't do well in the box offices, but... That's not oh, an indication. Of sh that's not an indication of shit these days. No, no, that, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially considering like everybody just wants like loud explosions and <laughs> special effects. 
I saw it. I thought it was amazing. I, saw, I watched it like. Oh, okay. I saw it. I, I thought it was amazing. That yeah, was great. Me too. It's been a while it, since. It was really, it's been a while since really I watched really the movie good. just with like that much care for the dialogue, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It was like, it was really, I mean, obviously, I don't know if you know, it was like a book that turned, was turned into a movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I listened to a whole mm-hmm. in- interview with uh, Edward Norton, which is how I knew how to, knew to uh, ah. watch it. Apparently they had their after, their like after party, like premiere show, or like, you know, after party at Blue Hill. I oh, didn't yeah. realize that. Oh yeah? It's pretty cool. Yeah, apparently he's like really good friends with Dan. Oh wow. Um, our chef, yeah. I'm just like, oh shit, that's cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I was I was watching. It was like a lot of good actors in it, but I can understand why it didn't do well in the box office because it's not like you know super shiny and whiz bang. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it's like a, it's a film noir. This gener- yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but that's what I kind of liked about it. Me too. Me too. It reminded me of a '90s movie more. Yeah, yeah. Just like it took time. Yeah. We just watched True Romance recently. Have you seen that? Uh, wait, who's in that? God, fucking everybody. Christian Bale. Not, wait, not Christian Bale, sorry. Christian Slater. Christian Slater. Um, fucking Brad Pitt. Christopher oh, Walken. Wow. Uh, Edward Hopper. Um, wait, no. Uh, Dennis. Wait, who's the actor? Dennis, Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper. Yeah. Um, fucking. God, yeah. There, it was a pretty good. It was a pretty good cast. Uh, Is that pa- like an eighties movie? Patricia Arquette. I think it was like ninety two or something, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> no, I don't think I've seen that. Actually. It's actually pretty good. Is it? I would recommend it. Yeah. Okay. True. Okay. True yeah. romance. This like writer. Um, Recommended it to us at the beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a something a writer would recommend. Yeah. Totally. You want to see true romance? <laughs> and really sink your teeth into that script. <laughs> yeah. It's you exactly. You cats run along now. <laughs> talk like a an old head. Oh, Hollywood. Exactly. Just finishing up my memoir here. <laughs> oh man. Um yeah, there there's a uh, there's some wacky people in LA. <laughs> you can say that again. It's a weird Oh man. It's place. like the energy is just like fucking creepy, tilted. man. Yeah. <laughs> Slimy, fucking, what's his name? Uh, Weinstein, Weinstein. Oh man! Wait, what? He lived out there? Oh, he didn't? I thought he did. I don't I just, know. I just I don't assumed know. that he Actually, did. I don't know really. I tried not to like hear too much <laughs> about that because it grossed me out. Yeah, I know. I just assume I mean, Hollywood producer. Like, yeah. Gotcha. He, you know, Hollywood is. Here. Oh, 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 Harvey Weinstein. Harvey, Harvey. Sorry, yeah, not. Wait. Not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, um, the, all these steam, yeah. steams God. getting in trouble. <laughs> There's like different wine scenes that are disgusting. <laughs> Any, um, anybody with the name, last name Weinstein right now is like. People with the last name <laughs> Hitler. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Seriously, you know, it's like, yeah, maybe we should change our last name. <laughs> um, Probably not a good look. Yeah. Um, we also just have been watching, uh, we watched uh, Batman and... Uh, the original? Batman Returns. Yeah, the, the, oh, wow. the Tim Burton <laughs> one. <laughs> Those are good. They're so good. They're so good. Like, it's funny watching it now, like how shitty... 
and special effects and kind of like low oh, budget. Yes. And they just kind of like, after the Val, after the, uh, like those two with Val Kilmer and George Clooney are just like, oh, what fuck? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like they blew, what? <laughs> blew the whole budget on the actors that were in the movie apparently. <laughs> It was just yeah, an awkward like, time, like, it was an awkward time because they were, like, trying to use special effects, but special effects, like, weren't, weren't there yet, and just, yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah, like, Anyways, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jim Carrey, yeah. uh, freaking Nicole, Ki Thurman. Nicole Kidman, Uma Thurman. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. They pulled out a lot of stops from those movies where it was like, man, you guys really like lost the plot here. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like, go back to the basics and let's figure it out again. Like, I think Christopher Nolan, I think, is an incredible, probably one of my favorite directors of modern day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he, He's good. he just... Uh, yeah, he just killed it. He just like kind of revived. He did a good job. He did a series. good job. I think. Yeah. Yeah, man. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> de, ne, 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 ne. <laughs> that was like very also kind of in the first two movies it was very like the the music was very tim burton too he must be like a very specific composer oh yeah it was, was uh, like even the theme music at the beginning was, uh, of his movies all sound very similar you know yeah what I mean? it was uh danny elfman Oh shit, you know the composer's name? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I'm impressed. Well I think those movies for me were like right behind Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like Okay. Every single Halloween when I was a kid I was either Batman or an or a Ninja Turtle. Gotcha. Your mom's like, Okay, which one are we gonna do this <laughs> year? Yeah. <laughs> so I just know from like watching it so many times definitely definitely that's cool uh, the first it's one of my it's actually it's a standalone like one of my favorite movies yeah you know um with jack nicholson and obviously it's, it's uh, the closest to like the original comic books but then like yeah. mixed with like an 80s mm -hmm. 80s vibe yeah man i think that they really and like the balloons like coming down the parade and everything i feel like they actually did that movie really really well it, they um, must have like really had a solid storyboard and like yeah it's one yeah it's one of my it's in my top all-time greats nice for sure i hear that it's it's funny, i mean I there's nostalgia in this movies, obviously there are different genres but within each genre, there's still different kind of like uh, sub genres. Like there can be a pop movie, and yeah. there can be like a like culty, more you know, uh, weird avant garde movie. Uh, and I, like I guess my point is that like my favorite movies, I would almost have to divide. Like, if I'm just going to go, like, favorite movies, probably a lot of them are going to be, like, super popular that everybody knows. But then I can also have, like, a category of, like, really yeah. obscure shit. And like it's not, it's not and fair to put those like... in the same category, too, though. Yeah. Because they're yeah. Meaning, meaningful in different ways. Right. Right. Absolutely. But, like, if somebody's like, okay, what are your best five movies? It's like, okay, which category are we talking about? Like, how, you do, you, how do you gauge that, even? Like, how are you, yeah. what's the metric for measurement? <laughs> yeah. Well, because I feel like it's... Because nostalgia it's plays like, a huge factor into my love of those Batman movies. I was trying to... Which does? Nostalgia plays a huge factor. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. I was trying to get Sarah to watch him, and uh, she, like, could not not look at her phone every five minutes. <laughs> 
She has like no, no just attention like, for it. Get off the phone! <laughs> you messed <it> up. <laughs> I know. I just use her to like relive, have an excuse to relive my childhood. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we had a pretty great childhood uh, <laughs> growing up in the 90s and the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, that's for sure. It was like very, very like um, good. I mean, like the location <laughs> we grew up, it was just very, uh, just good. Good, like, quality shit was happening, I feel like, all around. Yeah. <laughs> it was an abundant time. It was, it was. It was simpler, s simpler times. Yeah. Simpler times, for sure. Simpler times. More ignorant times in some ways, but yeah, we didn't we're, we're even... Yeah, ignorant, yeah. People... We didn't even know at that time. I mean, I feel like right now we're going through real... It's like really uh, rocky, just because we're kind of going yeah. through sort of a revolutionary time. Yeah. Um, but like, it. I think that probably people will remember in history the 2020 more than like the 1990s. Oh yeah, for sure, um, for sure. You know what I mean? Like 90s will be like, known as like, in, at least in America. Yeah, 90s at least in America will be like um this frivolous like the good times like mm -hmm. maybe i don't know i think so it was like the 90s or like the 20s like the roaring yeah the roaring time for the economy right before it all just kind of like fell to shit for a second before yeah. we had to like reevaluate ourselves as a, as a world and as a nation is individuals. Yeah. Du, ne, ne, ne. <laughs> ding, 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 I like it's the in between parts and like the violin goes. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. And it's like, oh shit, that's creepy, but it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, it's so mysterious. So good, yeah. <laughs> He's good. I think so Danny good. Elfman is like the composer that Tim Burton uses like a lot, I think. What's his name? Danny Elfman? Elfman, got it. I think. That's cool. That Let makes sense. No, I totally know that it's like a similar... He uses like the same vibe because it's like the same, same type of uh, music. Like in Edward Scissorhands at the beginning, and, like yeah, all yeah, of yeah, yeah. Like uh, yeah, he does uh, all these Tim Burton movies. Oh. He, he did Pee Wee's Big Adventure. What? He did The Nightmare Before Christmas, Edward Scissorhands. I remember Nightmare Before Christmas. Pee Wee's Big. I Adventure, Beetlejuice, Batman, Corpse Bride, mm. all of them. I didn't know that Tim Burton directed uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. That's a that's an interesting. Um, oh, maybe he did. I don't. I I think I didn't say. I was talking about Danny Elfman. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Stuff that he composed. Mm. Okay. That makes more sense. Um, yeah, I was like, what? what? That was weird. Tim Burton. Yeah, you didn't Jesus. know? Duh, everybody knows that. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, I am superior to you in movie knowledge. <laughs> you really know your stuff. Um, what else is going on, dog? Oh, just, uh, Sarah's house-sitting, um... Oh, where's she, where's she house-sitting? For Eric, my boss. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, um... 
I guess I'm doing it too, but. Yeah, I was like, wait a second. Well, I'm, I'm, we're kind of like, because it's a hassle to uh, drive back and feed the cats. So, uh, so, so much. So we're kind of. Uh, right. Like, I'm staying here tonight. Um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, dude, this is totally a male plan. <laughs> I'm gonna take pictures and see what you think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not extra. I don't want to pull it. Pull it. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't pull it. There's like, there's other uses. Yeah. Of hemp, but I just don't. <laughs> I don't know. There's other uses. There's so many uses. I mean, did I Wait, tell you? I don't think I for? told you this. Huh? What else can you use it for? <laughs> <laughs> Making some twine. <laughs> I don't know. Keep coming in. Some herbal tea. Yeah. It's not as fun. <laughs> not as fun, no. No, it's not as illegal. But that is kind of funny, though. I, I, I would love to, like, put my plan out, just the male plan, and then, like, just somebody be like, you're hey. arrested. So, hey. yeah, uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Uh, uh, That's uh. a male plan. And then they're like, too bad. <laughs> we found... You're still arrested. We found weed resin and paraphernalia. <laughs> <laughs> We're contacting yeah. the Daily News record immediately. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Don't traumatize me again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, dude, yeah, no, that uh, that was like us growing up in uh, a time period. Yeah. You know? Um, Wait, what do you mean? In what way? Oh, just like being like super paranoid and all that shit. There was no other like, way. We fucking lived with our parents. Yeah, well that's true too. Like it it's illegal count. it's illegal as fuck. I even hear like <laughs> it's legal here and I I like keep an eye out for cop the cops. <laughs> I know. Can you grow it? You can grow you said up to six plants? Something like that. Okay. Or I think it's a hundred, actually. Well, what? Or no, that's... You can only have a hundred if it's legal. Oh. I don't know what the... I think it's... Six, yeah, six plants sounds about right. Yeah, that's what I thought. I... Either you told me or I, like, saw somewhere or something. Yeah. Um... Where they like technically can't really, they're not gonna really do anything. But I feel like in Cali, they're looking for like the big, big scores. Cause that's where it's at. Like they're not looking for small potato like growers. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They're looking for those drug cartels. <laughs> exactly. Big kahunas. Um, I definitely don't want to be at my job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. So but September is... But Americans are out of work, so I'm grateful. What happens if you, you get let go? What's your if, I, would you, if, if they fire me? Yeah. There's no way or, that not fire you, but lay you, but lay you if off. They did, like, let's say if I like pooped on the floor or no, something. No, no, no. Say, say something ridiculous. Sorry, no. Like, just if you get laid off. If I get laid off. Yeah. What, what you, happened? Yeah. What's your backup plan? Uh, 
I mean, to do acting and just like get unemployment, I guess. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sounds good. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty darn good. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I do have to stay busy, so I definitely, like, I've been, I've been, like, working, like, trying to audition, submit to auditions for it. I haven't really gotten much feedback or any even um, calls or, like, auditions yet, but... I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of like just starting back up. The the industry is apparently even more competitive now because everybody has access to phones and uh, you know some type of camera yeah. that they can submit, and that's like the only audition way. Like, so pretty much anybody and everybody who has an agent is being submitted for everything. You yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Um, because everybody's like looking for work and and that's the only way like there's no studios auditioning people obviously um just because it's it's more of a risk health wise than yeah it's worth right ay, ay, ay. i got an email from snap yesterday that was like we want to have a meeting and talk about like you know what the protocol is when we start coming back and like how to you know, events will look and all this type of stuff. And I'm like, oh man, I don't know. Like, do I want to keep doing this? Like, then it's like, I do. I do want to get back in there and then like start back where I left off and be like, hey, Betsy, uh, how about uh, NBC? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and just like use those connections to have. But then it's also like, I mean, what else am I going to do? You know, Chris? Like, yeah, man, that's what you're going to do. What else am I gonna do? What else are you gonna like, do? You're doing your sure. best, the best option you have. Yeah, I, I really, I really am. I really am. As far as like my opportunities and my connections and who I know and who knows me and all that jazz. Yeah. Like I've never pulled strings like that before, and I feel like okay if I've. If I want something, you know that saying, you want something you never have, you do something you never done. So it's like, okay, Wait, might as it, well. Like, what, what is that what, little thing? What's the worst thing that can happen? Okay, she gets pissed at me for asking her, or just says no, yeah. and then keep it moving. Either I quit at that point, you know, or keep working there and just like figure out the next route. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know anymore, man. I really don't know. I don't have the answers uh, to how to make it, um, obviously, because I haven't figured that that code out yet um, for myself. <laughs> or the timing or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> you just have to manifest it. Man. Man, oh, man. <laughs> you just I feel have like to... I've been... I've been, I've been seeped in in like the power of positivity like really i was on that super heavy when i moved to new york like really hardcore into like envisioning yeah i remember like, you had you those want. like vision boards and shit yeah i know and like the secret and like you know the power of positivity and i definitely like took all that that i learned and i feel like that i still use it it to some extent in my daily life but uh i kind of got away from the the like vision board type of stuff and like the really like i visualize what i want all the time like every day but uh i don't know i, w I was definitely <laughs> like hardcore into that stuff right when i moved to new york yep what's that i think you get discouraged when it doesn't happen yeah, well, you just got to keep going, though. Yeah, no, totally. Enjoy the journey. Ain't that the truth? Because, I mean, yeah, like, that's like, 
you get to where you're going and you're still here, you know? So remember right. to enjoy the journey, like celebrate all your blessings. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna, once you get to where you wanna be, you're gonna have a whole new set of desires. That's so true. It's a never that ending. So true. It's ne there's not like a finish line. It's a never ending. I I believe it keeps going after you die. Interesting. Like infinity is all that is. It is what we are. Right. Like I'm not. I, Chris Slaymaker, Slay might not remember any of this, but me, what I really am as energy, as spirit, as one with the origins of the universe, will continue. Continue. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. I definitely I think. think that we have always been and we always will be because we're all connected in the everlasting yeah it's it's so crazy man like what you know what if you could remember your past life the next if, if you did like wake up on a different universe on a different planet that would be fucking next, cool i don't know that why that's crazy, man? yeah that would be crazy it was like this distant, like, dream memory of, like, the person that you used to be. But don't you ha sometimes have feelings like that? Like, meeting? Uh, personally? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think sometimes my dreams are very foreign, and they feel like that they're somebody else's head that I'm dreaming in. Yeah. But in waking life, not not so much that I feel like that I've, I'm in somebody else's, that I can remember something or like that something feels like that it was from another time or place or something. Well, okay, actually, yeah, I, I see what you're talking about. There's like more like energy kind of, not memories, but like, feelings like deja vu like yeah like, well, so, like yeah deja vu but that's kind of like or have you ever met somebody and there's just this like uncanny like you know for sure you've never met them but there's this like uncanny like yeah like you are so familiar somehow yeah yeah definitely i wonder if that could be anything I don't know. Maybe. Or is it just some sort of mental nonsense? I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it could be. It could be like the collective unconscious speaking. Mm. I mean, I think. I think sometimes that's. That's what sometimes it is, where it's like you're tapping into like the sort of like when we're talking about like the source of like all dreams, all memories, all universal uh, energy. And it's kind of just like riding through us like waves. Ooh, like yeah, we're yeah. passing through it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's sometimes I think it's like more that than a specific yeah. me in this body yeah. was once something else in another specific body. Yeah. But yeah. Dude, we just shot off a rocket in a recession. <laughs> huh? Mars. We just shot off a rocket to Mars in a, re in a recession. And Whitey's on the moon. What's that? I said, and Whitey's on the moon. 
<laughs> Where did you get that? It's that, uh, what's his name? That famous, like, 70s, um, like, what you would call it? And that dude is like, there, there's people starving and just talk, like he's like talking about this all this shit that's wrong and, the, oh. and then he's like yeah and what is on the moon Some, and somebody's <laughs> like funny. playing the that's really funny the drums <laughs> and kind of sad too yeah well i mean that's why it's funny it's true <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Usually things that like touch any type of nerve deep down are like, even if it's like gruesome or, you know, yeah, yeah. shocking or whatever, it's like funny in a, in a weird way. I know. I tend to laugh. Laughter tends to be my response to like everything, even like interesting, good or bad. And like some yeah. people that really bugs them. That really bugs. That I'm like laughing. Who? Well, especially Lauren. You remember her? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't like that. Uh uh. That's funny. It is not funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's that. I get that. I get that. Um, I've been told that like people can't know when to take me seriously or not because <laughs> cause it's very difficult to, to tell sometimes if I'm like yeah edging, edging on like is this is he like upset right now or is he still joking right now <laughs> like where is it where is the line I said so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man you're just like it's, always it's weird. abusing it's people. Weird. It's funny. Laughter, laughter is an interesting mechanism. Yeah. True that. Very useful. Yeah. Very, very useful. Like I think laughing at everything kind of, uh, it sort of can like coast you through situations that might be really uneasy. Oh yeah. I'm a hundred percent, and just for the record, I'm a hundred percent in favor of laughter. Yeah, me too. Me too. I think sometimes it's like, yeah, like and crying too, if that's what you need to do. And crying for sure, dude, for sure. Yeah, both of them. Like, if like well, I laugh and cry on the same day, or if I laughed and cried every day. I mean, it's like a release. It doesn't matter sort of which one it is. I mean, I, I'd rather be like, sometimes I, I enjoy crying more than even laughing sometimes. Yeah, you know I mean? me it's too, like, yeah. Maybe it doesn't, it, it feels like. Sometimes that's what you need. That, what's that? I said sometimes that's what you need. Yeah. Like something inside yeah. you just like hurts. And, it, and that's the only thing that can release it. Yeah, it like quenches the soul. Yeah. It's you know like, what oh, get, man, you know what gets what me? To get off my chest. You know what gets me like when I need to cry? What I what I watch? Kind of weird, but yeah. I'll watch these the fucking like uh like war soldiers like coming home, home? from war and they're oh, their kid and like coming to see their kid for the first time and their kid is just like oh fuck like starts crying and running oh yeah them. man those are the it ones is. that get me those are they did those for like a few years ago like a lot of them um that was like a very popular i'm mean, sure they still are but yeah that, that that does get me every time too it's very like emotionally charged and it's set up to be that and sometimes I can if it's like a comedic thing <laughs> even if it's like a sad thing sometimes I'm like 
I see through it and I can't get into it. I'm <laughs> like, oh, this is yeah, totally set up. Or like, I you know, you. obviously it's being filmed. If you feel the fact that it's being filmed. But those yeah. ones, like, especially the kids' reaction, because it's always like super, like, just break down immediately. And you're just like, damn, like, yeah. That's that's real. You just that's see a that real, pain. Real reaction. Yeah. Coming out of them. Yeah. It'll be like shots sometimes where they don't even know what yeah. they're looking at. Yeah. It's like, that can't be. That can't be. Yeah. Heartbreaking. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm trying to think what... Uh, I cry at a lot of movies, to be honest. If it's like emotional at all, like I, I get very... You know, I'll yeah. like shed some tears. Me too. Like, sad things, for sure. I don't, I don't mind. I've cried at some like embarrassingly like <laughs> fucking like <laughs> the Baywatch <laughs> movie. There's like a sappy moment or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Like Family Matters or something will make me cry sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that was, it's, yeah, I definitely, I feel like laughing is easier for me, um, well, I don't know about me easier, but, like, it, I guess I do it more often than crying, but, like, crying feels like a weight really has been lifted, if it's, like, a, yeah, if it's, like, a resolution, well, it's also, crime, like, it's not, yeah, well, it's also, like, you can just fucking laugh at work all day, but if you're just, like, sobbing, <laughs> sobbing at work all day, people are yeah. going to be like, uh... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Eventually, you're going to look like a crazy person if you're laughing all the time, but, like, you can pretty much laugh. Like, there's one guy at work who I think... I don't know. I feel like that he might be a little bit on the spectrum, but he just, like, laughs at everything and always... <laughs> And like it's nervous, it's like genuine, it's like fake, but just like kind of always like chuckling or sort of giggling even while he's talking. Yeah. Um, and, and it's like, I mean, it's like totally acceptable. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like people would start to be like, man, like that person's <laughs> really sad. Like, they're like crying all the time. You'd probably be like. Do you yeah. need to, like, go home or get, <laughs> yeah. like, psychological help? Or... Yeah, like, if you laughed the way, or if you cried the way that that guy laughed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You'd be, like, probably let go or phased <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I think, like, laughter is a conduit to keep things moving in conversations. Whereas yeah. crying kind of is a pause. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of let go more. Well, it depends on the type of laughter, too, though. Right. Like, if it's those... If it's the fucking, like... Belly laughing that you can't... You, you don't even have the willpower present to suppress it, like... The way we would like giggle, get high and like giggle like little girls in my <laughs> bedroom and just like start laughing till we couldn't, couldn't breathe. Yeah. And uh, like that's kind of has the same kind of release as like a good cry. That's, that is true actually, cause you're crying. Yeah, you're yeah. Laughing. That's, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah, I you're literally. I would be like the yeah. I remember laughing so hard with you that like I was like I don't want to laugh anymore because it hurts my yeah. stomach so much. Don't like, fucking look like, at me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't <laughs> it was you almost dare. Like being like for like Please stop. raped or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you start it's like, like legit, know. legit getting scared. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh god, I can't stop. <laughs> and it's also, it's like, it was like waves. It was like, yeah, it's, like, it's fine. It's okay, fine, okay, it's okay. Fine. And they would be like, <laughs> okay. 
And then it would start back up again. It was like another whole wave of laughing. Yeah. But I just remember my stomach, like, it would keep tightening and tightening and tightening. <laughs> and just like, oh my god, I'm gonna, like, rip my abs or something if I just keep on 